UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. And coming up next is the UFC welterweight division matchup. strikers in this division sprawl and brawl whatever you want to say he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight it does not matter how he accomplishes it all he wants to do is be on his feet and at range hitting you with the beautiful jab staying away from the grappling exchanges you don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 159 pounds. Fighting out of Nottingham, England, Iron. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Opens with the inside leg kick. Not there. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Left right combo is good. Just unable to quite find that range.
Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Nice kick. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Take it. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. With 90 seconds to go in round one. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. One minute. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Final seconds here. Five minutes in the books. Why don't we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Hook attempt now, blocked though by Lee. Hip over when he throws that kick. Oh man, I'm, I'm just so glad that front kick didn't hit me. It kind of felt like it did. Right in the sternum. Your opponent comes forward, you drive the ball of your foot into your opponent's sternum and hope to really affect the breathing. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big leg kick land. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Oh, beautiful combination of kicks. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, man. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Got the 
single collar tie. A great punch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Final seconds here of round number two. And that's the end of round number two. Right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. Let's clear the cobwebs. You got rocked that last round, but you're fine. This round, let's get on your bicycle. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you've got to really switch it up. Good corner is able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. the shot. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Nice body kick. at trying to shut the liver down. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. There's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Final seconds of round three. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Round now, fight scheduled for five, five minutes. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Ooh, big shot lands. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here.
Hunter trying to find a home for that right hand. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. on the counter there. Powerful leg kick lands. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. What a tricky head kick. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Two minutes remain in the round. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Just out of range with that left hook. Big body kick land. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there, really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Nice punch land. And both guys really throwing with authority. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Leg kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. You ready? You ready? Here we go, fifth and final round. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. Here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Just misses with the jab. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Circling to his right. Get ready to counter that left hook. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. <laughs> Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. And they separate. Nice straight punch.
What a body kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. One minute to go in the fight. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Whoa! Right under the elbow. The body keeps the Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Look at the good action that comes from him throwing that kick. The official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start 